Welcome to job skill share and I don't know if you are in the same situation but my situation is a little bit like this I want to now try out a lot of 64 bit systems because there's nothing uh, for an IT person he can I mean there's nothing you can do about servers now they're all coming in 64 bit systems and you need to upgrade your skills and you want to keep up with the technology then you need to upgrade to 64 bit systems and that's the reality right here so what do you do at your home computer like I said you know I want to do more videos where a lot of people are in that situation now some people half of the people would be already running a 64 bit so they don't need to worry about this but people like me who are still running on 32 bit systems your virtual environment you can't do anything about it but you want to check is your CPU can your CPU take 64 bit operating system and the easy way to do this is go to IGORWO are.com uh, let me just go to that so we are on the same page so you will get to this point and all you need to do is click on 64 bit checker 1.1.3 1.4.3 is the one that I'm going to be using and then you basically click on download here and click on this download 64 bit checker here it will download it and it's a portable tool and once you open it it will tell you oh you're running 64 bit system but on the bottom it will tell you that your CPU supports 64 bit operating system that's great so now I can um, however you get your CD from Microsoft you might get an ISO file or you might get a USB from a Microsoft you can plug that into your system and start installing the 64 bit operating system so that everything will be turned so there's a lot of benefits to it but in this video I'm going to show you guys how to do it from a USB since I got an ISO file and what you need before getting that USB you need to get to this software which is called I'm gonna go back virtual clone drive you click on that you go to the first link and then you click on download on the left side right here and you download virtual clone freeware you download that and once you go back to your let's say for example um, let me see if I have that CD right now local here so once you get this file, let's say you have the ISO file uh, for the Windows or any other operating system, uh, probably, I mean, I'm just going to talk for Windows 8 and Windows 7, especially Windows 8, it says right here 64 bits, so uh, let me not say anything else because it might not work. So here, so how do you get this ISO into a real CD now? All you need to do is once you install that software, you need to right click on it and then you need to mount from here. Or you can say open with mount files with virtual clone drive. What will happen? It will turn this C ISO file into a virtual CD drive. Like you can see right here, it's basically looking like I just plugged in the CD, but there's nothing in my CD right now. So all you need to do is to get to this point right here. You will open that file. These are all my Windows files. You need to copy this and paste it into your uh, USB drive. And that's what's happening right now. All I did is copy this and I went to my another USB that I that's physically plugged into my machine right now. There's nothing in that USB. You make sure there's nothing in there. And I just came here, right click and paste it right here. And that's what's happening right now. It's copying, it's almost done. And once this is done, I'm just gonna go ahead and reboot my machine and try to install 64 bit system on this make sure you save your data make sure this is probably a testing environment uh, you don't want to mess up something and not get to your files and everything so uh, if you're doing this on a real system 100 percent make sure do your backup now while that's getting downloaded i'm going to show you guys why it's important for you guys as uh, our learners to do this part and if you don't have a system that basically the CPU is not supporting 64 bit I would definitely suggest you spend money and get the 64 bit because as you can see from here if you go to VirtualBox and you would you want to try some 64 bit system like I said you don't have option now 32 bit is the only one that you can get um, and things are moving um, advanced now things are 64 bit like you can say Windows Server 2012 they don't even come with 32 bit so we have to keep up with the technology 
And the best way is to check your machine this way. And this is an old machine. It's, I mean, I got lucky with it. But you might, you might see there, it might not be even compatible. So probably you need to go out, spend a little money, and uh, get a good system so you guys can learn more, uh, try out things uh, hands-on. So let's see where we are right now. Almost done. All right, as you can see, it's totally copied the ISO files to my USB, which is right here. It's blinking. I am going to shut my computer down. I'll, I'm just going to wait for a little bit. The blinking needs to stop, even though it says 100%, but you don't want to take it out right away. So since it stopped and I know that I don't need anything from this computer, I'm going to go ahead and shut it down. And hopefully this is not the right way to shut things down, but I don't need anything from this computer right now. So I'm good. So you need to go to your boot menu. So in HP, try F9 and it will tell you right here. CD USB, I have a USB. I need to click on that. Oh, okay. So it gives you uh, like three different USBs that I have connected. Make sure you connect the right one. My one is this one. You might only see one. And that's where the Windows is starting right now. Windows 8, the 64-bit. Okay, so you get to the main screen. To get to this point, I had to go through a little bit of troubleshooting. So when you do the format or partitions, uh, make sure if you get an error that it's not working, you need to restart it and then do the install from the USB again. So when you do, when it will start the installation, it will finish everything. Then the other thing that I find out, if the USB is plugged in, it will start the installation again for some reason. You just need to restart it again. Um, if you get, uh, you see a black screen, probably you just need to wait and let it reboot and everything. So most of it was like just a restarting it again worked for me. Uh, so as you can see, the Windows is up right now. We just need to check, is it really 64-bit? I am going to name this job skill share and then click next. Okay, we'll see express settings. That's fine. I'm not going to use my email. I'm just going to say sign without a Microsoft account. Local account. I'm going to click that right here on the bottom. I will name it uh, Dan. I won't give any passwords for now, just finish. Hi, while we are getting things ready, go ahead and get a coffee. So there you go, we are in Windows 18 now. Let's go ahead and see if we have system that's 64 bit and there you go 64-bit operating system and now we can install the virtual box again and you will see everything 64-bit and we can install 64-bit servers and try things again and i can go ahead buy a memory and take this up like till 16 gig so it's pretty good you know if your system is able to do this uh you can do it uh, like i said you definitely need a windows 8 um iso to get this thing running or maybe you have a linux 64 bit and you can get everything for free um so go ahead and test it out thank you for watching this video it was a quick video so we'll see you guys in another video bye, -bye.